and we're starting right now. Hello, everyone. Hello, hello, hello. So yesterday, last night, I came on to show you how to clean or how to put your apples in the lemon juice. Good morning. The salt and baking soda. So I told you um, I will be back in my face group, Facebook group to show you how to wipe these apples off. But guys, I was so tired. I fell asleep. But I was coming on anyways this morning to show you the same thing. So you see how the apple, the apple, excuse me. You see how the apples um, are turning colors and that's totally normal. During this process, your apples will turn colors. Um, that's fine because when you cut this apple open, the apple is still green inside. So what you do is you're going to take a paper towel and you're just going to continue to wipe your apples and you just take a dry paper towel now someone asked um if they could use um wet paper towel probably the first night you can i wouldn't do it the next night or the next day because your apples really need to be dry so i'm taking the apple and i'm going to go with the dry paper towel and I'm just going to turn the apple and I am really firm with wiping the apple down. You can hear when you hear that screech, you're really getting the wax off. You wipe on top of the apple and you make sure you get the bottom of the apple as well so you just take your time and wipe the apple now tomorrow we will insert the candy apple sticks and we will have to make sure the top is really dry because once you insert the candy apple stick juice from the apple pops up. So you'll have to make sure you get down in there and clean that really good too once after you insert your candy apple stick tomorrow. So today we're just going to go ahead and keep wiping down your apples you don't have to do this. Like I said, you don't have to do this every hour on the hour. Stretch it out within the 24 period and do it about four or five times. You can do six times. It just depends on how many apples you have. So um, wiping this apple down really firm. Do not just wipe, barely wipe it. Just don't do that because you're not getting the wax off. You have to really be firm with wiping down your apples. So I think this one is really good. And I always just turn my apples upside down. Um, I don't know why I just do that because when I have them up, they just don't balance out right. And um, also with dipping, you'll see me dip my apples upside down. Hello, Rika. Thank you. So what we're doing, we're just wiping down the apple, getting all that wax and sap off the apple. And you're going to just wipe it down really, really good, really, really firm. And you can, you hear that? When that apple is screeching, 
when the apple starts to screech, you're really getting the um, wax and sap off the apple. So I have four more. I'm going to go get a candy apple stick just to show you what I'm talking about once you insert your candy apple stick. Well, I'll just wait until tomorrow to do that. So I'm just wiping down my apple. Make sure you get down in there. Wipe the side really, 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 really well. Someone said that they always have bubbles on the side um, or, you know, all around the apple. That's because you're not firmly wiping down your apple. You can't lightly touch the apple. You have to put some pressure on this, apply pressure. So I'm going around my apple. I get the bottom really good and I get the top really good. And once you hear that apple, this one is sort of screeching. Once you hear it, it's not screeching too good right here. So that means some wax is probably still on. There we go. On that side. So yeah, you have to really, really wipe your apples down. I'm going to change out the paper towel here. I've already got that one. So I need to get these three. So what you're wiping down is you're getting all the um, dye that they put on apples before they sell the apples to make them look pretty. You're just wiping the apple down to its natural state. Okay, so Rika, it was lemon juice. Um, it was lemon juice baking soda and salt you can go back and look at that video um it's posted up on my youtube channel so you can go back and look at that video as well um that lemon juice and baking soda and salt really takes um the wax um it really gets the wax off the apple and the lemon juice keep the apple green inside so it doesn't turn colors at all And I'm just wiping. And I give this a good wipe. You really have to apply pressure. Apply pressure. Okay, that's the bottom of the apple. I'm starting to hear that screech. I don't hear it right here. That means it's probably still still some wax right there but i'm gonna come back and wipe these apples down probably about three more times um throughout the day like i said you don't have to do this every hour on the hour if we had to do this every hour on the hour i would not be making candy apples so this one you can see where it's starting to turn it's still um it still has a lot of green but it's starting to turn and this one is sticky i can feel the sap you're welcome I'm just giving it a firm wipe. Just this one, I really need to come back three or four times because it's really sticky.
Okay. And this is my last one. You see that white down in there? That's the wax. This one is also sticky, so I really would have to come back and get this wiped down really good three or four more times. So the key is to your candy apples is like we did last night. Dipping them in the lemon juice, the baking soda, and the salt for six to eight seconds. Take them out, dry them off, and wipe them down. Today, during the 24-hour process, because we're going to wait 24 hours before we dip. So we're going to dip these apples tomorrow for those who need help with dipping your apples in the candy mixture. So throughout the day, take your apples and wipe them down. And then when we get back on tomorrow, we will insert the um, candy apple sticks. And then we'll wipe down our apple one more time, especially when you insert the candy apple stick. You want to make sure you get all that juice that pops up. So throughout the day, guys, just take your apples and continue to wipe your apples down. And if you have any other questions, you can leave them down below. Or if you're in my Facebook group, you know, you can always ask questions there as well. And if you need uh, my face group name, it's in the description down below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share my channel as well. So just throughout the day, just continue to, you know, wipe your apples down. And then tomorrow, I'll be back on tomorrow to show you how to insert your candy apple stick, your bling stick, whatever kind of candy apple stick that you have. And we will dip our apples. I also need to put the candy thermometer um, down in the description. So you guys will have the right candy thermometer. Because there are some thermometers people are using. And it's not the right one. And that's why your candy is not um, doing right on your apples. I think some people are using the thermometers that you use, like if you're baking a turkey or something, you can't use those. You got to use the candy thermometer. So um, I'm done. And like I said, just continue to wipe your apples down throughout the day. And then good morning, good morning. And we're, I'm sorry, we're, <laughs> we're almost done. I was just showing everyone how to just take the paper towel and continue to wipe your apples down throughout the day. Um, a few of these are still sticky and that's because I need to wipe them down throughout the day. I'll do this about three or four more times throughout the day. And then tomorrow we'll get back on. Um, because I'm pretty much done here. We'll get back on and we will insert our candy apple sticks. And then we'll take our paper towel and make sure we wipe around the candy apple rim. Just so you don't get that bubble on top. That's the bubble that people are talking about that they get on top. Sometimes I get it because I don't take the time out to make sure this part is really, really dry after inserting that candy apple stick. So, um, like I said, throughout the day, just continue to wipe your apples down and give it pressure. Apply pressure. Don't do this light. Apply pressure 
and wipe these apples down. And like I said, if you have any questions, hit me up on my Facebook group or you can comment down below. So um, you guys have a great weekend and I'll see you tomorrow with dipping these apples. And if you're in my Facebook group, I see you guys all the time. So um, you guys have a great weekend. Bye bye.